The Sea of Galilee Hebrew, Yam Kinneret Judeo-Aramaic, Yam Ditbri Jinnaiser Arabic, Bert Tiberia Kinneret or Kinnereth, Lake of Gensere, or Lake Tiberias, is a freshwater lake in Israel. It is approximately 53 km 33 miles in circumference, about 21 km 13 miles long, and 13 km 8 .1 miles wide. Its area is 166.7 square kilometers, 64.4 square miles at its fullest, and its maximum depth is approximately 43 meters, 141 feet. At levels between 215 meters, 705 feet and 209 meters, 686 feet below sea level, it is the lowest freshwater lake on earth and the second lowest lake in the world after the Dead Sea, a saltwater lake. The lake is fed partly by underground springs although its main source is the Jordan River which flows through it from north to south. Geography <inaudible> 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 The Sea of Galilee is situated in northeast Israel, between the Golan Heights and the Galilee region, in the Jordan Rift Valley, the valley caused by the separation of the African and Arabian plates. Consequently, the area is subject to earthquakes, and in the past, volcanic activity. This is evident by the abundant basalt and other igneous rocks that define the geology of Galilee. Names. The lake has been called by different names throughout its history, usually depending on the dominant settlement on its shores. With the changing fate of the towns, the lake's name also changed. Lake or Sea of Kinneret The modern Hebrew name, Kinneret, comes from the Hebrew Bible, the main source of the Christian Old Testament, where it appears as the Sea of Kinneret. In Numbers chapter 34 verse 11 and Joshua chapter 13 verse 27, spelled Ner, Kinero". In Hebrew, in Joshua chapter 11, verse 2, this name was also found in the scripts of Ugarit in the Akkad epic. Kinneret was listed among the fenced cities in Joshua chapter 19, verse 35. A persistent, though likely erroneous, popular etymology of the name presumes that the name Kinneret may originate from the Hebrew word kinor (harp) or lyre, in view of the shape of the lake. The scholarly consensus, however, is that the origin of the name lies with the important Bronze and Iron Age city of Kinneret, excavated at Tel el Orima. However, there is no evidence that the city of Kinneret itself was not named after the body of water rather than vice versa, or for the origin of the town's name. Lake of Genseritol Old and New Testament writers use the term sea, Hebrew yam yam, Greek thalassa, with the exception of Luke who calls it the Lake of Gensare, Luke chapter 5 verse 1, from the Greek Limi Genesarate, Limi Genesarate the «gressized form of Chinnereth», according to Easton 1897. Sea of Genosort Babylonian Talmud, as well as Flavius Josephus mention the sea by the name «Sea of Ginnasar», after the small fertile plain of Ginnasar that lies on its western side. Ginnasar is yet another name derived from «Kinneret». Sea of Galilee, Sea of Tiberias, Lake Tiberias in the New Testament the term Sea of Galilee. Greek Thalassantes Galileas Thalassantes Galileas is used in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 4 verse 18, 1529, the Gospel of Mark chapter 1 verse 16, 731, and in the Gospel of John chapter 6 verse 1 as the Sea of Galilee, which is the Sea of Tiberias. Thalassus Tes Galileas Tes Tiberiados Thalassus Tes Galileas Tes Tiberiados, the late 1st century CE name. Sea of Tiberias is also the name mentioned in Roman texts and in the Jerusalem Talmud, and was adopted into Arabic as Bahare Tabariya, Lake Tiberias. Sea of Minya from the Umayyad through the Mamluk period, the lake was known in Arabic as Bar al Minya, the Sea of Minya. After the Umayyad Khazar complex, whose ruins are still visible at Kirbat al Minya. This is the name employed by the medieval Persian and Arab scholars al Baladari, al Tabari, and Ibn Kathir. History Prehistory in 1989, remains of a hunter-gatherer site were found under the water at the southern end. 
Remains of mud huts were found in Ohalo. Nahal Ein Gev, located about 3 km east of the lake, contains a village from the late Natufian period. The site is considered one of the first permanent human settlements in the world from a time predating the Neolithic Revolution. Antiquity <inaudible> 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 The Sea of Galilee lies on the ancient Via Maris, which linked Egypt with the northern empires. The Greeks, Hasmoneans, and Romans founded flourishing towns and settlements on the land-locked lake including Hippos and Tiberias. The first-century historian Flavius Josephus was so impressed by the area that he wrote, "...one may call this place the ambition of nature." He also reported a thriving fishing industry at this time, with 230 boats regularly working in the lake. Archaeologists discovered one such boat, nicknamed the Jesus Boat, in 1986. In the New Testament, much of the ministry of Jesus occurs on the shores of Lake Galilee. In those days, there was a continuous ribbon development of settlements and villages around the lake and plenty of trade and ferrying by boat. The Synoptic Gospels of Mark Matthew and Luke describe how Jesus recruited four of his apostles from the shores of Lake Galilee, the fishermen Simon and his brother Andrew and the brothers John and James. One of Jesus' famous teaching episodes, the Sermon on the Mount, is supposed to have been given on a hill overlooking the lake. Many of his miracles are also said to have occurred here including his walking on water, calming the storm, the disciples and the miraculous catch of fish, and his feeding 5,000 people in Tabga. In John's Gospel the sea provides the setting for Jesus' third post-resurrection appearance to his disciples John chapter 21. In 135 CE, Bar Kokhba's revolt was put down. The Romans responded by banning all Jews from Jerusalem. The center of Jewish culture and learning shifted to the region of Galilee and the Kinneret, particularly the city of Tiberias. It was in this region that the Jerusalem Talmud was compiled. <inaudible> Middle Ages The lake's importance declined when the Byzantines lost control and the area was conquered by the Umayyad Caliphate and subsequent Islamic empires. Apart from Tiberias, the major towns and cities in the area were gradually abandoned. The palace Kirbat al minya was built by the lake during the reign of the Umayyad Caliph al-Walid I In 1187, Saladin defeated the armies of the Crusades at the Battle of Hattin, largely because he was able to cut the Crusaders off from the valuable fresh water of the Sea of Galilee. Modern era. The lake had little importance within the early Ottoman Empire. Tiberius did see a significant revival of its Jewish community in the 16th century, but had gradually declined, until in 1660 the city was completely destroyed. In the early 18th century, Tiberius was rebuilt by Zahir al-Umar, becoming the center of his rule over Galilee, and seeing also a revival of its Jewish community. In 1909, Jewish pioneers established the first cooperative farming village kibbutz, kibbutz at Kinneret in the immediate vicinity of the lake. The settlement trained Jewish immigrants in farming and agriculture. Later, kibbutz at Kinneret pioneers established kibbutz de Gania Aleph. The kibbutz at Kinneret is considered the cradle of the kibbutz culture of early Zionism and is the birthplace of Naomi Shemer and the burial site of Rachel—two of the most prominent Israeli poets. In 1917, the British defeated Ottoman Turkish forces and took control of Palestine, while France took control of Syria. In the carve-up of the Ottoman territories between Britain and France, it was agreed that Britain would retain control of Palestine, while France would control Syria. However, the Allies had to fix the border between the mandatory Palestine and the French mandate of Syria. The boundary was defined in broad terms by the Franco-British Boundary Agreement of December 1920, which drew it across the middle of the lake. However, the commission established by the 1920 treaty redrew the boundary. The Zionist movement pressured the French and British to assign as many water sources as possible to mandatory Palestine during the demarcating negotiations. The High Commissioner of Palestine, Herbert Samuel, had sought full control of the Sea of Galilee. 
The negotiations led to the inclusion into the Palestine territory of the whole Sea of Galilee, both sides of the River Jordan, Lake Hula, Dan Spring, and part of the Yarmouk. The final border approved in 1923 followed a 10-metre wide strip along the lake's northeastern shore, cutting the mandatory Syria state of Damascus off from the lake. The British and French agreement provided that existing rights over the use of the waters of the Jordan by the inhabitants of Syria would be maintained. The government of Syria would have the right to erect a new pier at Semek on Lake Tiberias or jointly use the existing pier. Persons or goods passing between the landing stage on the Lake of Tiberias and Semek would not be subject to customs regulations, and the Syrian government would have access to the said landing stage. The inhabitants of Syria and Lebanon would have the same fishing and navigation rights on Lakes Hula, Tiberias and River Jordan, while the government of Palestine would be responsible for policing of lakes. On May 15, 1948, Syria invaded the newborn state of Israel, capturing territory along the Sea of Galilee. Under the 1949 armistice agreement between Israel and Syria, Syria occupied the northeast shoreline of the Sea of Galilee. The agreement, though, stated that the armistice line was not to be interpreted as having any relation whatsoever to ultimate territorial arrangements. Syria remained in possession of the lake's northeast shoreline until the 1967 Arab–Israeli War. In the 1950s, Israel formulated a plan to link the Kinneret with the rest of the country's water infrastructure via the National Water Carrier, in order to supply the water demand of the growing country. The carrier was completed in 1964. The Israeli plan, to which the Arab League opposed its own plan to divert the headwaters of the Jordan River, sparked political and sometimes even armed confrontations over the Jordan River basin. After five years of drought as of 2018, Sea of Galilee is expected to get to the Black Line. The Black Elevation Line is the lowest depth from which irreversible damage begin and no water can be pumped out anymore. Israel Oceanographic and Limnological Research describe it as the black line marks minus 214.87 meters, the lowest ever level reached since 1926 when the water level record began. According to the Water Authority, the Kinneret water level must not decline below this level. In February 2018, the city of Tiberias requested a desalination plant to treat the water coming from the Sea of Galilee and demanded a new water source for the city. March 2018 was the lowest point in water income to the lake since 1927. In September 2018, the Israeli Energy and Water Office announced a project to pour desalinated water from the Mediterranean Sea into the Sea of Galilee using an underground tunnel. The tunnel is expected to be largest of its kind done in Israel and will transfer half of the Mediterranean desalted water and will push 300 to 500 million cubic liters of water per year. The plan said to cost 5 billion shekels. Giora Island lead the meetings with the German counterparts to find a suitable contractor to build the project. Archaeology In 1986 the ancient Galilee boat, also known as the Jesus boat, was discovered on the northwest shore of the Sea of Galilee during a drought when water levels receded. It is an ancient fishing boat from the 1st century AD, and although there is no evidence directly linking the boat to Jesus and his disciples it nevertheless is an example of the kind of boat Jesus and his disciples, some of whom were fishermen, would have used. During a routine sonar scan in 2003 finding published in 2013, archaeologists discovered an enormous conical stone structure. The structure, which has a diameter of around 230 feet 70 meters, is made of boulders and stones. The ruins are estimated to be between 2,000 and 12,000 years old, and are about 10 meters 33 feet underwater. The estimated weight of the monument is over 60,000 tons. Researchers explain that the site resembles early burial sites in Europe and was likely built in the early Bronze Age. In February 2018, archaeologists discovered seven intact mosaic with Greek inscriptions. One inscription, one of the longest found to date in Western Galilee, gives the names of donors and the names and positions of church officials, including Irenaeus. Another mosaic mentions a woman as a donor to the church's construction. This inscription is the first in the region to mention a female donor. <laughs> Water use Israel 
S National Water Carrier, completed in 1964, transports water from the lake to the population centers of Israel, and in the past supplied most of the country's drinking water. Nowadays, the lake supplies approximately 10% of Israel. S drinking water needs. In 1964, Syria attempted construction of a headwater diversion plan that would have blocked the flow of water into the Sea of Galilee, sharply reducing the water flow into the lake. This project and Israel's attempt to block these efforts in 1965 were factors which played into regional tensions culminating in the 1967 Six Day War. During the war, Israel captured the Golan Heights, which contained some of the sources of water for the Sea of Galilee. The Israeli government monitors water levels and publishes the results daily at this web page. The level over the past eight years can be retrieved from that site. Increasing water demand in Israel, Lebanon and Jordan, as well as dry winters, have resulted in stress on the lake and a decreasing water line to dangerously low levels at times. The Sea of Galilee is at risk of becoming irreversibly salinized by the salt water springs under the lake, which are held in check by the weight of the freshwater on top of them. Up until the mid 2010s, about 400 million cubic meters (1.4 times 1010 cu feet) of water was pumped through the national water carrier each year. Under the terms of the Israel-Jordan Peace Treaty, Israel also supplies 50 million cubic meters (1.8 times 109 cu feet) of water annually from the lake to Jordan. In recent years the Israeli government has made extensive investments in water conservation, reclamation and desalination infrastructure in the country. This has allowed it to significantly reduce the amount of water pumped from the lake annually in an effort to restore and improve its ecological environment, as well as respond to some of the most extreme drought conditions in hundreds of years affecting the lake's intake basin since 1998. Therefore, it is expected that in 2016 only about 25 million cubic meters 880 million cu feet of water will be drawn from the lake for Israeli domestic consumption, a small fraction of the amount typically drawn from the lake over the previous decades, with extreme drought conditions continuing to intensify. The Government of Israel approved a plan in 2018 to pump desalinated water into the lake in an effort to stop the water level from plunging below a point where irreversible ecological damage to the lake might take place. Tourism Tourism around the Sea of Galilee is an important economic branch. Historical and religious sites in the region draw both local and foreign tourists. The Sea of Galilee is an attraction for Christian pilgrims who visit Israel to see the places where Jesus performed miracles according to the New Testament, such as his walking on water, calming the storm and feeding the multitude. Alonzo Ketchum Parker, a 19th-century American traveler, called visiting the Sea of Galilee, a fifth gospel which one read devoutly, his heart overflowing with quiet joy." In April 2011, Israel unveiled a 40-mile hiking trail in Galilee for Christian pilgrims, called the "'Jesus Trail". It includes a network of footpaths, roads and bicycle paths linking sites central to the lives of Jesus and his disciples. It ends at Capernaum on the shores of the Sea of Galilee, where Jesus espoused his teachings. Another key attraction is the site where the Sea of Galilee's water flows into the Jordan River, to which thousands of pilgrims from all over the world come to be baptized every year. Israel's most well known open water swim race, the Kinneret Crossing, is held every year in September, drawing thousands of open water swimmers to participate in competitive and noncompetitive events. Tourists also partake in the building of rafts on Labnan Beach, called Rafsodia. Here many different age groups work together to build a raft with their bare hands and then sail that raft across the sea. Other economic activities include fishing in the lake and agriculture, particularly bananas, dates, mangoes, grapes and olives in the fertile belt of land surrounding it. Topic: <laughs> Flora and fauna. Topic: the warm waters of the Sea of Galilee support various flora and fauna, which have supported a significant commercial fishery for more than two millennia. Local flora include various reeds along most of the shoreline as well as phytoplankton. Fauna include zooplankton, benthos and a number of fish species such as Acanthobrama teresoncte. Fish caught commercially include Tristramella simonis and Sarothrodon galileus, locally called, St. Peter's fish. 
In 2005, 300 short tons t of tilapia were caught by local fishermen. This dropped to 8 short tons t in 2009 due to overfishing. However, low water levels in drought years have stressed the lake's ecology. This may have been aggravated by over-extraction of water for either the national water carrier to supply other parts of Israel or, since 1994, for the supply of water to Jordan water use section above. Droughts of the early and mid-1990s dried out the marshy northern margin of the lake. A fish species that is unique to the lake, Tristramella sacra, used to spawn in the marsh and has not been seen since the 1990s droughts. Conservationists fear this species may have become extinct. It is hoped that drastic reductions in the amount of water pumped through the national water carrier will help restore the lake's ecology over the span of several years. As such, the amount planned to be drawn in 2016 for Israeli domestic water use is expected to be less than 10% of the amount commonly drawn on an annual basis in the decades before the mid-2010s. See also Topic Miracles of Jesus Sea of Galilee Boat Tourism in Israel Topic References Topic Topic External Links Topic World Lakes Database Entry for Sea of Galilee Kinneret Data Center, Kinneret Limnological Laboratory Sea of Galilee Kinneret, Israel Ministry of Environmental Protection Bibleplaces.com, Sea of Galilee Peace Mural of the Sea of Galilee in the Chapel of the Good Shepherd, Ramallah Updated Elevation of the Kinneret's Level Hebrew. Elevation meters below sea level is shown on the line following the date line. Virtual Map of Israel, Kinneret Sea of Galilee Water Level Application Google Store. Israel bans fishing in Sea of Galilee The Road to the Sea of Galilee Topic. Further reading Topic. Tamar Zohari, Asif Sukhanik, Tom Berman 2014. Lake Kinneret, Ecology and Management. Springer. ISBN 9 trillion seven hundred eighty nine billion four hundred one million seven hundred eighty nine thousand four hundred forty eight CS one maint multiple names authors list link C Seruya 1978 Lake Kinneret ISBN 90 6193 085 5